Our minds are basically thoughts, memories and beliefs. We need to understand that our mind has basically two parts. That which is conscious and second that which is not. And there are of course two parts, the subconscious and the unconscious minds. Let's take a look at the conscious mind. It's the more rational mind. It's all the available and accessible data. It thinks logically, but is also creative. It has your personal identity and your ego. It perceives stimuli data from all our senses and it can project into the future and review our past. It affects our decision making and our willpower. The subconscious mind has all the data you have to dig to access. It stores the reoccurring thoughts and the recent memories. It controls more habits, behaviors and feelings. Once it has learned a habit, you don't have to think about it. It does it automatically. It is predicted that about 10% of our mind is the conscious, 50% is the subconscious and 40% the unconscious. And we think we are just running our lives with just our conscious minds. Here's a thought. If we can only think one thought at a time in our conscious mind and it's busy with processing that one thought, it's no wonder that the subconscious is running the rest of the show. It is predicted that we only run our lives from the conscious 5% of the time. The rest is the subconscious. For the first six years of our life, our mind is hardly in a conscious state, so our beliefs and attitude and behaviors are just absorbed from our parents, family, and community. Our subconscious, being the habit mind, also learns from repetition. What you believe you will regularly think and what you regularly think you will believe. So we can read a self-help book and the conscious mind can go, oh wow, fantastic, this is gonna change my whole life. And the subconscious goes, uh, nope, didn't learn a thing there and our fundamental core beliefs don't change at all. So our automatic responses stay exactly the same and as a result, we we'll get no change in our lives either. So how do we teach the subconscious mind? By consciously checking our subconscious beliefs when they get triggered. Even psychologists say 70% of our thoughts are negative and redundant. So here comes the discipline, work and labor. We have to create the habit of consciously auditing those thoughts that the subconscious habitually puts in our conscious mind. The typical examples are, I'm not enough, or that'll never work, or I can't. And uh, when these thoughts appear, we have to consciously say no. That's false evidence appearing real. And wipe that thought away and replace it with positive and empowering thoughts. This done consistently and frequently, in other words, as a habit, then slowly the subconscious begins to learn new healthier programs and belief patterns, and we overcome our negative belief blocks. The Big Cigar.